I want to share with you the work of Dr. Bruce Perry, who has had a huge influence in my career. And he is a, a psychiatrist and a neuroscientist who's worked a lot with trauma. And here are some things that he suggests for us as parents, as educators, as leaders. And that is, in order to manage stress, we have to create a pattern of managing that stress to make it predictable, to make it moderate, to, down, to, to make it less uh, powerful. And what are some of the things that we can actually do today in our day-to-day -day work life? One is create a routine. The body, the brain likes routine and predictability. It brings down stress. So that means get up at the same time each day, make sure you get dressed, have breakfast, have time when you're doing learning things, have time when you're exercising, have time when you're playing and having fun. Make sure as much as you can that you get adequate sleep. Sleep revives and changes the, the, the parts of the brain that really help you get on with your day the next day. Exercise in whatever way it's possible for you to do. Lend your calm. Really find out at this time, where is my calm place? What makes me feel rested inside, restful inside? Very important at this time that we have family meals. That together as a family, you put away devices and you actually ask, how are you doing? What's going on? What did you love today? What was hard for you today? What can we do tomorrow? Reach out to other people who are isolated. We know that when you reach out to others and you, you have that activation of empathy and compassion, it changes your biology for the better. Limit screen time. Now, here's one thing that's really important to remember. We know that the news repeats over and over again. But if you've got the television going in the background, every, I don't know, eight or ten minutes that it comes up, it's the same news over and over again. We know it's a repeat, but the kids, if they're listening to it, think that, oh, my gosh, even something worse has happened. So limit your screen time. Be in control and focus on the things that you can actually do something about. Control the things that you can control. And here are 10 suggestions from Jack.org for young people, and they're good, for all, they're good for all of us. Remember to breathe in and out and appreciate that breath. Work out. Pet a cat, pet a dog, have a bath, talk it out with somebody. Don't be alone. Get artistic. Listen to music. It's been a great source of soothing for me. Spend time in nature. Laugh it off. Write it down, what's bothering you and what has helped you. Take a nap and watch TV, but not too much, and make sure you laugh. Make sure you connect and be with the people who make you feel that you are loved and lovable. Hope that helps.